All right, guys, before we get on with the video, I have to show you this. Now, it's very late and I'm tired, but I've been actually thinking of this so much that I can't sleep. So, when I was out in the woods making a trail for Molly, in the middle of a sentence, I got interrupted by a noise. You can make a track. Now, it sounded like someone or something stepped on a stick. You can make a track. It kind of freaked me out, so I decided to quickly finish the trail and then go talk somewhere else. But after that, I didn't think about it much until now when I finished editing the video. As I watched it, I see something that looks like a bear. As you might understand, I've been watching this sequence for a hundred times and I can't figure out how it can be something else than a bear. I mean, it looks like the bear was running from the woods towards the road. As it looks at my car, it turns around and then lay down and disappears. Now of course I play with the thought that this might just be a glitch or a shadow or some bug in the GoPro camera. But then I think about the noise in the woods. It just seems like a very weird coincidence. Anyway, I really want to know what do you guys make of all this? So please write down what you think in my comments below. What is your opinion and how do you explain it? Alright, so think about that. Here comes the full video of me showing how to make a trail with a wild animal scent. I'm sorry Molly, I can't bring you when I'm making the trail. That will be cheating. You understand, right? I'll be right back, okay? On my way to a special, very secret location. I must say, even though it's raining, I'm actually really excited of doing this. Obviously because I'm a damn PDT. We are unbreakable. Yup, we are very deep into the woods now, guys. If something happened to me, it was probably the guys in the wrong turn movies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need for making a trail. Now, if you wonder what the heck this is, this specific one is a two-year-old moose claw. It's actually really heavy. I would say around three kilos, which is like seven pounds. I guess we will see if Molly is strong enough to carry it back home. Anyway, you will need some sort of lace or a rope. Bind it around the claw so you can more easily drag it across the ground. Pretty much like this. Now, this specific scenario that I'm creating will simulate a wounded animal. And that's why I have some reindeer blood. If you're using blood, I strongly recommend you have two corks instead of one. So here you can see I made a few holes in the cork so I can drop blood on the trail. The other cork is obviously so I won't spill any blood when I'm done using it. And then I'm gonna use these ones that I will tie around trees, just so I know that we are walking on the right path. Kinda like Hansel and Greedo. So this yellow plastic bag is the marker so I can more easily find it tomorrow when I return. All right, so this is where the trail will start. Make sure to make an obvious mark where the trail starts. Now you might wonder why make a mark? Well, the mark is for me so I can more easily know when Molle has picked up the scent. So after you made your mark, spill some blood in it and as you walk forward, make sure to drag the claw over it. And as you continue walking forward, you take two steps and then you spill a drop of blood. One, two, one, two. Now, if you want to make the trail harder for your dog, you can make a track. You can make a track. So as I was saying, if you want to make the trail harder for your dog, you can make a gap where there will be no scent at all. You simply pick up the claw, take a few steps and then continue as normal. But if this is your first time tracking, I would recommend not make the trail longer than 40 meters. Now you want to get your dog excited about tracking. And that's why when your dog finally finds the claw, you make sure that it's the best experience in your dog's life. So the next time you're about to track, your dog will be very excited. Now me and Molly on the other hand, we have done this a few times in the past. So the next step to make a trail more advanced is to make a change of direction by making a 90 degrees turn. This will truly test your dog's concentration on that specific scent. And just to complicate things even more for Molly, I will make another change of direction, but this time there won't be any scent. So right here we have a change of direction, but there is no scent that is telling her that. This is actually what the hare does when chased to fool the predator. So as I just now made a change of direction, 
the hare takes a big leap and continues to run another way. So when a tracking dog realizes they lost the scent, they start to run in a circle and with every lap they start to tighten and tighten it up until they're back on the trail again. I must say it is really fascinating to watch. All right, so I have now been walking for about 400 meters. I've done three gaps with no scents, about eight, 90 degrees turns, and three of them had no scent in it. So as you might understand, at this point, I wanna find a good place to hide the claw at. One, two, drop. Oh, let's check what's behind this rock. <laughs> I must say, I don't understand why I love this so much. I mean, I'm all alone deep into the woods, pulling some moose claw and spilling blood. Oh, do you see that hole under the rock? That will be perfect. <laughs> Good luck, Molly. P. D. I know you can't tell, but it says PDT with blood. All right, so now when we are done, I strongly recommend that you bind the claw to something nearby. I mean, you don't want other animals snatching it away from you. And we're done. All right, so as you walk back, make sure not walking on your trail. I prefer to just simply circle around it. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Now, I will wait for about 24 hours before I take out Molly to track it. If this is your first time tracking, you don't have to wait that long. I would say 10 to 20 minutes is a good start. As I said before, you don't want to make it too complicated. All right, time for me to get my ass back home. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Now there will be a lot of new videos in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Happy tracking guys, stay positive, peace.